Hi there, and welcome to my Grammarly review and demo. I'm Darling Johnny, and I'm going to go over what I think is great about Grammarly. And let's start right here at the profile. This is, I'm inside of Grammarly right now. You can see I have all sorts of projects I've written. So I obviously use it. My profile here. Probably don't need to see that. But anyway, this is my personal dictionary. Add a word. That looks like one I should trash. But here's all the words I added to my dictionary. And then it also gives me American British. I'm an American, or I'm a British English writer. And an account. Subscription. You can see I'm paying this much per month. It's getting ready to renew here in a few days. It bills $60, so I'm saving $10 because I'm on the quarterly plan. This is the best deal, the annual plan. But I've, I've just been paying every three months. I should upgrade, but I haven't yet. Or you can just try it out for $29.95. You know, if you just need it for like one month. And they have apps. Here's the one for Firefox. I can install that. We got one for Microsoft Office and one for Windows. And, and then just back to my Grammarly. So now what I did, I went, I grabbed, I had my Grammarly review written over here at iWriter. Some dude named Early Times or whatever. Could be a girl too, I don't know. But anyways, this is my article they wrote for me. I could upload if I needed to, you know, if I wanted to, but I, I've never done that. I always just open a new one. Here's my uh, title. It's going to be Gre Grammarly review and demo paste my text in here and you can see down here it's checking it tells me that there's a 1030 words uh, it says there's two critical issues 19 advanced issues it's given this a score of 95 um, I'm going to turn that on because I like that helps me just be more creative and I like this <clears throat> this is my general document contextual spelling that checks for spelling errors correctly spelled you know grammar punctuation and out here it gives you options for your writing styles I guess these are writing styles I've never actually used any of these I always just leave it on general because that's basically what I feel like I'm doing general. And then I like to turn on vocabulary enhancement because I just like that. And down here, you can send this to a professional proofreader if you wanted. I haven't done that yet. Um, these are their pricing. Up here, I can copy or download it. I can start a new one. And then that takes me back to my home. So, you know, this this is going to require a lot of editing on my part. It's not a very good article, but parts of it are good. So, it says a repetitive word is compose. So I can write or produce. You know, that may or may not matter to you. If you're using the same word, see, they see it twice in the same sentence pretty much so you know you could change it if you felt like it or you could just double click on the word and it gives you a bunch of synonyms and a squinting modifier you know I don't know what that is maybe unclear to the reader what professionally is modifying consider moving the modifier and if you know 
you're like me and you don't know what a squinting modifier is. It gives you a little definition and then more. Oh, here's a bunch more you can read about. Was this helpful? Yes. You can tell it to ignore it, you know. Maybe you don't care that it's a squinter. And then they must have, they really went through this one. Usually, you know, they need commas and repetitive word, better word pairing. Uh, another repetitive word and you can just click here and it'll give you another and a description or you can just come right out here and double click on a word oh no synonyms found for highlighted linguistic you know exact scientific grammatical oral if you need a different word this is you know or sometimes you get these back and you don't know what they mean Say there was a, a, like I got hints back the other day. There was a word that said hints, and they were using it weird, and I just couldn't understand what they were saying, so I double clicked on it, and it gave me some other words, and I just substituted the word out, and it made a lot more sense. And it was like they just used the wrong word, but it meant the same thing, it just sounded too weird. And so they're telling me a better word pair, more clear. Another repetitive, overused word, um, another overused, repetitive, right down here. See, it always points to what point, and it gives po point by point. It gives a point by point. It gives, you know, it's not always correct either. Sometimes you just have to read it. And it gives a point by point data. No, it gives the point by point data maybe, but I think I'd have to read it better. And then another repetitive word. They, you know, this article almost seems like they ran it through here before they gave it to me. They're not usually like this. this passive voice. This is one of those uh, um, it kind of your opinion, you know. If you, the sentence appears to be written in the passive voice, consider writing an active voice. So they want you to write an active voice because that's in the moment instead of in the past, I think. There's the description. And I usually don't bother with those. I, you know, often look at the repetitive words and they said PC. It says I don't need the comma, so I just click that and it changes the, gets rid of the comma. And it still says there's 18 advanced because I haven't changed anything Okay, well, I'm not real happy with this article. I'm going to go create a new one. And then I'll call this Grammarly. Review 2. And then I'm going to paste in this text. This is an article I got before. It counted... 1,053 words. It says it's got 17 critical issues, 24 advanced issues, and it's got a score of 76. So now, this is a review that I, I had written, and this is more like what they come back as. You know, that other one, it looked like he already ran it through Grammarly, so it was nice and pretty for me when I dropped it in here myself. But anyways, they're telling me that this is, I don't need that colon. Oh, that's also a part I don't need. This is, okay, Over, other overused word is quite entirely. <clears throat> Each day when we look back, it is quite possible that thousands of new domains are being added and innovated. Hence, when it comes to quality SEO campaigns, domains are much more than just some names. So they're saying throw a, one of those in there, comma, says it needs a comma there, over here. If we look back, expired domains could get a lot of value as far as your link building efforts is concerned. As far as your link building efforts, see, it says is, probably would sound better with R. And e-commerce, that's up to you. It's kind of a preference, you know. They give you two choices there. Maybe I'd use that one instead. Maybe that's the one I'd want. Is able to, a lot of times, if there's three words or something, 
that are really common. They want you to like get rid of them. They think they're they don't think you need some of these extra words. Oh, there's one politically incorrect language. Business people, maybe you're one of those that needs to be politically correct with your um your article or school project, whatever. So maybe you'd want to use business people. And let's see, it also could help you to buy an expired domain provided it is able to, provided it can meet your specific, you know, it depends. It doesn't matter, maybe, to you or me. But you could swap it out as easy as one click. And it says you should add a comma. You know, sometimes it wants to put commas in weird places if if the end of the sentence isn't right or you know it's kind of another judgment call a lot of this is they're saying wordiness right many may and then if you need more of an explanation here's some more explanation see they want you to be more concise that's they like to remove they want you to be more concise and objectives, goals, purposes, or double click on the word um, as far as your overall SEO blanks are concerned. Yeah, that's probably fine. You know, when I go back and completely reread all this, you can just start at the top and, and go through, but I usually do this, touch it up first, probably right, and SEO. Another repetitive word, but areas, fields, they don't, they don't um, mean the same thing as domain. These are about website domains and realms. And are able to, you know, maybe I want to leave it that time, affordability, dependability. See, it needed a comma there. It says overused word in in that are and that too in good time. The tool makes it possible to create a list of all available and expired domains and that too in a good time. Well whatever that means. I'll worry about that later. And then quality, probably should have a comma. See they're saying marketplace it should probably be spelled like this. Okay. Um, where, which are premium. Yeah, that was one. I didn't think it needed the A or the the. Period. C, period of time. They want you to cut out of time. Okay. Because they think that by this tool is that it is very customer. By this tool is that it is, you know, decide for yourself. Overused, fine, maybe. Yeah, sure, okay. Running requirements. Um, other advantages are if you, here is, and here is, maybe, sure. Extremely and powerful period of time they see they don't like that and then extremely maybe incredibly maybe I am using extremely too much notably which are now it's nah I'll maybe the next one I see and then such as page rank social profiles age see that's another where they don't know what I'm talking about so they think that I should probably have one of these Multi-threading, provide a multi-threading probably. Um, overused word extremely. Yeah, here we go. And keywords, needed a comma, the website. Um, this feature is unique because it helps users to get into website and then find... Um, it's also possible this feature is unique because it helps users to get into the website and then find a list of expired domains. 
you know that's a part where I have no idea what they're talking about so I'll have to come back and you know finally needs a comment says passive voice this is um, I forget what they call it style it's a style error and you know that's a choice special unique double click out here um, there's a special feature there's a yeah we'll throw in unique there is a unique maybe functions a noun string whatever a noun string is uh, it says confusing noun string so if I read it it would probably be confusing anyways and then you just oh I could turn this plagiarism checker on I usually do that it might it's already published so it might all be showing up but anyways I turn that to a 95 I guess this is 3% plagiarism checked must not be super indexed yet and then 12 advanced issues are still present and see original eight words an original eight words an original eight words and if this was all you know just copy and paste it off the internet it would just say unoriginal 126 words and but anyways I mean I turn that 76 point article into a 95 point article now I can go back and rewrite it to make it sound, use my voice instead of this writer's voice to uh, make a better article. So there you go. That's Grammarly. And I recommend buying the full year version if you're going to be writing a lot. Just do it the first time. Or, or, you know, you could be like me and just pay every three months quarterly or just even try it out. I know they have a trial. You can try it out for a week or 30 days. I don't remember which. And, uh, you know, then just sign up. Do it. Especially if you're in school or if you write articles at all online. Grab Grammarly. I, it helps me. I, I don't write anything pretty much without it. And whenever I get something back, I always put it in here so I can change it make it you know use better words you know I like being able to have all these little words without having to hop over open a tab and go search uh, domains what is another word or find there's a bunch of words for find sites that one's being slow sometimes it does this to me Because my internet's getting slower, it's not connecting. Anyways, that's my review. Go get Grammarly today. I would do it if I was you. Click the link below this video and then go grab one of these free browser apps or just sign up for the full meal deal like what I got here. This is my recommendation. Go grab this, install your uh, free app, and go to town. Write better content.